Hello everyone, it's Swimcrafters, and today for my math final project I am going to be showing you guys how to complete the unit circle and a few easy ways to remember some of the measurements. Let's start with the degrees. Degrees are probably one of the, some of the easiest measurements to remember. You start here with zero, and then each number you go up plus 30, plus 15, plus 15, plus 30, plus 30, plus 15, plus 15, plus 30. And you can do that for every measurement. And they'll all be correct. This one's 30, for example. This one's 45. This one's 60. And this one's 90. So I just cleared the circle because it was getting pretty messy. Um, it's kind of hard to remember all the coordinates because there's so many of them. So what you can remember, right over here we start with the y being square root of 0 over 2. And then here, it's square root of 1 over 2. And then square root of 2 over 2. Square root of 3 over 2. And then square root of 4 over 2. Now, all you have to do, this is for the sign value, of course. Um, all you got to do is simplify these numbers. And if you can't simplify them, then you leave them like this. This one you can't simplify, and this one you can't simplify. But this one becomes 1. So this will equal 1 over 2. And you just write that. This one will become 0. And then this one will become 1. You start out by writing all these numbers like all the way around because it's super easy to look at these and be like, hey, uh, they just go up by 1, the square roots do. But you do have to simplify them. For radians, radians just go up pi over 12 units for every 15 degrees. So right here at 30 degrees, it'll be pi over 6 because it's actually 2 pi over 12, but that simplifies to pi over 6. And then pi over 4 because 3 pi over 12 reduces to pi over 4. Pi over 3. Pi over 2. And then 2 pi over 3. 3 pi over 4. 5 pi over 6. And when you get to um, negative one zero, it's just straight up pi. So that's half the unit circle. And then you can keep going around like this uh, for all these measurements as well. After some practice, you should get a nice looking unit circle like this one right here. So now that you know how to use the unit circle, or at least how to fill one out, you got to go share it with the world. And that's exactly what I went and did today. Here's a video of me doing that. Hey guys, what's up? It's Swimcrafters. Today I'm at Amazon Pool and I'm spreading the word about the unit circle. Cause, Cause math is rad. You get a unit circle. You get a unit circle. Unit circle too. I'm taking this to the turtle's back. Another unit circle. Now when people shower, they get the best view of all. Yeah, 
has it memorized already. You get a unit circle. You get a unit circle. I was thinking that uh, while well, high schoolers need another unit circle, little kids also need another unit circle. So I was going to go distribute these around the sandbox. Here we go. We've done it. Circle. You get a unit circle. This is great. This is great. I'm like the Oprah unit circles right now.